Hi, this is Paul Neal from Pem Productions. Let's do a two minute uh, barrel for games. And so I'm just gonna skip over to the front viewport here. And I'm gonna create uh, with my uh, control right click rectangle, or you can go dig for it in the menu if you like. I'm gonna drag out a rectangle and I'm gonna set it to the approximate uh, size that I need. I think maybe like they're one and a half meters tall or so, probably about that kind of wide. I'm just going to, uh, you know, center that, but stand it on the ground for now. And so I'm starting with a rectangle. Right click, convert to editable spline. Two on the keyboard for segments, and then right click and say divide, or again, go look for it. I'm going to grab all the uh, those pieces I don't need, and I'm only going to build this chunk here. I'm then going to hit X. I'm going to look for spline mirror. And spline mirror, we're going to mirror in the Y up down in this case because I created the front viewport. So Y is actually pointing up on the model. Um, slice along mirror plane, we're not going to want on. And I take my weld threshold down real low so it's not welding stuff that I don't want it to weld. Okay, on top of that now, we're going to add a lathe modifier. And it's going to lathe it around. Make sure you turn on weld core and generate mapping coordinates so that we've got that done. 16 is probably about what we're going to need. What I'm going to do is basically set it up so each one of those represents a panel of wood around it so we can adjust it as we go. So back down to the um, edible spline. And we're going to start uh, modeling this. I like starting with all my knots always in corner, just so I know that they're in corner and things aren't going to flex and bend. I'm going to pull this out sideways, but I want it to point straight up. So I changed it to uh, you know Bezier right away. And then this one over here, I can sit to Bezier corner and I can pull it out a little bit more. Show end result with my alt tilled. And you'll see that we already have a barrel going. So we can easily adjust that and you know get it the right sort of shape and size. I think that looks pretty good. Back to my front viewport. So in the front viewport, and show end result off with alt tilled. Uh, I'm going to go with a refine, and this is going to be the top edge of the barrel. And two on the keyboard for segment and pull it down. And then we're going to grab the uh, vertex again and pull it in. Again, these two should be on corner by default because I set them all to corner. But now what we should have is a barrel with a top pulled down in as you would expect it to be. So we can go to the front viewport again. Now we have to create the steel bands that go around it. For the one in the middle, we're only kind of creating the half the width because we've got the mirroring going on. So I'm going to right click, go uh, refine, which is right here. And I'm going to refine twice right close to each other, two on the keyboard and pull it out. OK, so this is going to be the metal band. If you notice, it's given us a whole bunch of segments along here. That's because this vertex should be on corner. This one, we want to keep this on the Bezier because we need to keep this curve going. But I'm just going to hit three or F3, sorry, to uh, get out of that. And I'm going to pull that Bezier handle over until it reduces the amount of um, you know, edge loops in there to zero. It's doing that because we have optimized turned on. And so it's reducing those. I'm going to go up to the top now. The wood should sit out a little bit on the top, uh, on the top edge of this. So same thing. I'm going to go one, two, uh, a little further apart there, and probably about here-ish, I'm guessing. And same thing. I'm going to grab this one, and I'm going to pull this out, out and do exactly the same thing again. I'm going to grab these two and set them to corner, and maybe pull this up a little bit more, and I'm going to set this one and to straighten it out so that we've got that nice metal band there. And same thing down here. I happen to know that's on Bezier corner as well because it's where I set it. I can now, you know, uh, pull those. I might want to pull these down just a little bit more. And again, we'll have to fix that just to make sure it's, it's about that. That looks pretty good. And generally going to want one in the middle right here as well. So same thing. I'm going to say refine one, two, and I'm going to need a three, four down here and two on the keyboard again pull this out and then fix those corners again. So both of those over to corner. And then we're gonna take these and just get them to get rid of the poly count that we don't need. And you'll have to zoom in to be able to grab some of those. I'm gonna actually pull that down a little bit and then just pull that one down a bit. And that should be pretty good. So what we have now, 
one on the keyboard to get out of that. I'm going to go back to my perspective um, and I'm going to hit uh, uh, F3. We've got a barrel, but you notice there's a whole lot of segments going around it. We just don't want those to be there. So we can take down the steps uh, in the interpolation. That's probably fine, frankly, is something that low. You could give it a little bit more shape if you wanted with that many. But I'm just going to leave it like that. Once it's textured, it is going to look like a barrel. There you go.